This is how to get shared chat and your friends 2D or 3D VTuber on screen in your stream. First thing we're gonna do is open Twitch and log on if you need to. In the corner, we will go to the creator dashboard. From here, we're gonna navigate to the stream together. We press on to the start streaming together. As you press it, this box pops open. You will be on the call, but no one else unless you invite them. When you set this up, it's important to choose the audio and microphone source first. For me, who's using an external sound card, I needed to experiment a little bit before I got the audio to appear on stream. When you're ready to invite your friend to the call, you press the invite guest button. Your favorites will appear here, but you can also search them up or you can send them an invite link. Oh, hiya! So we are back into OBS and the next thing we want to do now that we have our sound and microphone configured is we want to get the camera working. So the way we do this is we make a new scene, completely new, doesn't matter what you call it. And then however way, whatever you use to capture your VTuber or PNG tube or whatever, copy paste it in here. So the next thing we want to do is to add a green screen. This is optional. You can also use a background. Basically, whatever is displayed here is what your friends will see. For the green screen, the easiest way to do this is to go to add source and color source. We have the color source, we pick select color and choose it to be neon green. Press OK and OK again. Perfect! Now there's one more step in order to get this ready to go. We need to press the cogwheel next to start your virtual camera. Choose output type scene, which will give you the options to choose from these ones and output selection choose the scene that you made. For me, it's called Monaco full screen with green background. Press OK. The last step is to press the start virtual camera button. And this is important. Whenever you're going to use this feature, you need to start OBS and press this button. Now, it doesn't matter if you change to any other scenes. As long as this button is on, this is what your friends will see. They will still see your avatar exactly as displayed here. Going back to stream together, we are now ready to turn our camera on. From the list, we want to select the OBS virtual camera. If everything else is on, your OBS is open and your virtual camera is running. When you press camera on, you should be able to see yourself. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Now we have gotten to the last step, which is adding our friends. We need to copy the browser source URL, which means we go to settings. Here you have two options. Either you can add a whole group in which stream together would automatically adapt for when people join or leave. Or if you want more control, you can add the individual guest and then you can select their individual size and volume. We are once again back into OBS. So choose the scene you want your friend to appear in and Press the plus button for sources and go to browser. Just name it your friend's name. And at the top here, you copy paste in the code that was generated. Ta-da! There we are. Now there's two of me. So for the final step, we want to remove the green screen. Now, you don't need to have a green screen. If you would just want to round a background, that's fine. But if you have a green screen and want to remove it, have the browser source open and press filters. In the filters, press the plus button and choose chroma key, the second option. In most cases, this will be enough and your friend will now be clear of a background. So in order to start the share chat, the manager of the call, which is the one that is inviting everyone, needs to press the share chat button. This can only be done after you start streaming. And then it's very important that your friends who is on the call needs to accept this because if not, the share chat won't happen. I really hope this helped you, and if it did, I'd be so happy if you leave a like. If you have any other VTuber tips, please leave them below. And I hope you all have so much fun with this I've had with my friends, and have an amazing day, everyone. Bye!